Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, welcome. My name is Olivia and I'm the creator of Pink Olive Soaps. So today I'm going to be making a high top loaf mold soap. I've not done this before, um, so it is a first for me. I had to do some alterations um, a little towards the end, but it turned out pretty good. So I'm happy about it. So I'm just going to start by mixing my lye solution with my oils. And remember, always wear gloves, goggles and a mask when you are mixing and dealing with lye. separate this into two separate jugs. And for my larger jug, I'm going to go ahead and put this to one side. That's for my frosting, so I'm going to let that thicken up a little bit more. And here we go with some colorants. So first I'm using Copper Sparkle Mica by Brambleberry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some Cappuccino Mica, also by Brambleberry, just to my large jug there. I'm gonna give this a quick mix. Now, the fragrance that I'm going to be using today is Peppermint Patty, and that is by Nature's Garden, and it smells like peppermint chocolate. <laughs> oh my goodness, it, it smells edible, please do not eat this. <laughs> so once that has been mixed nicely, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my lighter jug, but before I add my fragrance oil, I have just added some ground coffee and that is really good for exfoliation so I'm going to give that a nice mix. Once that's all mixed in nicely I'm going to go ahead and do a one pot swirl. So this is just when I add my lighter soap batter into the darker, but just in different spaces, I guess. I'm just gonna put the rest of that to one side for one minute, cause I'm gonna do a drop swell later. And I just give it a slight mix. I don't want the colors to blend too much. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour.
jug. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in from my high so it does a drop swirl effect. This little piece that I have left over, I'm actually going to mix a little bit of the um, frosting soap batter in there just so it's a little bit lighter. stick clean the sides up just a little bit and then I'm gonna do a swirl really quickly okay so now it is time for me to prepare my frosting and with this, I wanted to keep it fairly white. Not too white, but white enough so that it has a whipped cream kind of look to it. I'm gonna add the rest of my fragrance oil in there. And I do want this soap batter to thicken up, so the majority of the fragrance did go into the frosting. go ahead and add some titanium dioxide just so it gets it a little bit whiter to be adding some more coffee grounds. I'm not gonna put too much in, just a sprinkle. And I'm gonna give this a little bit of a mix. So I've already got my piping bag ready and I've just put it in this cup just so it's easier for me to pour my frosting in. And I will be leaving the um, equipment that I used down in the description box below for you guys. Okay, I had to go ahead and tie this off camera because it was extremely fiddly and it took a minute to kind of thicken up a little. I should have really left it to thicken some more, but that is okay. So I'm just gonna start with my piping. came to the second row of piping the frosting it got really messy and <laughs> I just thought you know what it's, it's already happening now so just go along with it and then we'll just see how it looks so what I did decide to do is give it a kind of whipped effect kind of like that whipped cream kind of look I'm 
just going to top this off by sprinkling some of my cappuccino mica on top. And that is it guys. For all the coffee lovers out there, here is peppermint mocha. So guys, here is the final product, peppermint mocha. I loved how this came out. All of my bars are really different. Each one that I cut, it came out with its own different swirls and patterns. So that was one thing that I really loved about it, plus the smell. I am a very big coffee drinker, so doing this soap was definitely one of my favorites. So as always, thank you so much for watching my video today. I post my videos every Saturday for Soap Saturday here on Pink Olive Soaps. And you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well as Facebook. I do have an Etsy as well, so I will leave all the links down below. I'm also collaborating with Angie Bent and Beyond, so I'll leave all that information below. I have been thinking for my next video, I'm either gonna do another high top because this was the first high top loaf that I made and I definitely can improve it. So I'll either do another one of those, but a completely different flavor, completely different coloring, all that good stuff, or I'm gonna do another cupcake so let me know like what do you guys want to see next <laughs> shall i do a loaf mold or shall i do cupcakes go ahead and leave a comment for me and i will pick the one that gets the most requests so as always guys once again thank you so much and i will see you next week here on pink olive soaps bye guys